Hi, this is Miss Aragon. Today we are going to do varsity sports attendance. This is lesson 3.6, a spreadsheet lesson. So please check out the overview. The overview gives you a little bit of background about what we're doing. Um, as with before, I'm going to skip step one on your paper. Step one will tell you how to get started opening the assignment and everything. I'm going to go straight to step two. So step one, you'll see instructions for either on the packet or I'll tell you in person what to do with that part. So step two says enter the data as shown below. So here on the screen, we have a blank spreadsheet again. Um, this There's a little bit less information this time that we have to put in than we did for the previous spreadsheet. Um, but what you want to do is you want to, again, check often to make sure that you're in the correct cell. Okay, so what I mean by that is as you're going through and putting information in, check very frequently. Make sure that you're putting information in the right spot. All right, so here are our active cell right now, the one we're typing in now. We need to type in McKinley High Athletic Event Attendance. So please be careful to um, capitalize when you need to. Whatever you see on this on your paper should what should be um, the same thing that you see on your screen. So cell A1, McKinley High Athletic Event Attendance. Um, you'll notice that there's a lot of information in that one little cell and it kind of overlaps into B and C. That's okay, we'll take care of that later on. But um, after that, there's nothing in the whole second row. The third row, the first, um, the first cell that has information is cell B3. So in cell B3, we'll type here one. I'm going to go all the way over year two, year three, year four, and year five. All right. And then I need to fill in cell A4. I have the sports listing. So baseball, football, basketball, and soccer. Now I'm going to go through and fill out the numbers. So you want to be very careful that when you fill out the numbers that you put them in correctly, have the correct number, check, make sure they're in the correct cell, all that stuff. What I'd like you to do is continue filling out um, everything that you see on step two. So fill out everything that you see on the spreadsheet. Pause the video to do that. When you're done, please check. Make sure everything's good to go. When you're ready to go, resume the video and we'll start with step three. All right. So once you check to confirm that you have everything in the correct cells, all your information is there, we're going to go to step three. So step three through five, um, these are kind of like formatting steps to make the page look a little bit better. So step three says merge cells A1 through F1, center align, bold, and change the font size to 14. So we have a few things to do here. First thing, merge cells A1 through F1. To do that, you need to click on A1. Then you need to hit the shift key on your keyboard. Hold that shift key down. And then go over and click on F1. Notice that they all become highlighted now. Once you've got that done, we need to merge the cells, and to merge the cells, you'll see this little icon up here. It looks like two, two little things coming together. That is merging cells, so you might have to go to more to see it, but it should be up here already. Once I click on that, you'll notice that these little gray lines go away. So now we've merged the cells. All right, we have a few more things to do, so I need to re-highlight all that. So if you did the same thing I just did and moved away from it, click on cell A1 again, Hold down shift key and F1 again. Um, if you did not click away, then you should still be good to go. So now that you see these are also highlighted, you need to center align. We did this before. So horizontal align and change it to center. Now they're in the middle. Bold, which is a big capital B up here. And change font size to 14. All right. Now we need to bold and right align all of row three. An easy way to do that, if you just click here, right in the middle of row three, so don't go too low or too high, but if you click right on that number three, you'll see the whole thing is highlighted. So click on that number three, and we need to bold and right align. So I still have this down here. All right. And last, bold cells A4 through A7. So click on cell A4, hold your shift key down, and then click on cell A7, and bold. All right, step five is done. Step six, format the number. So we want to put things um, like commas on the number to make it a little bit more organized. So with our, um, to format our number, what we need to do is first select cells B4 through F3. 
seven. So here's B4, hold down your shift key and click on F7. Up in the format uh, menu, select number, and then you'll see again, a number. And now it changed it to numbers with a uh, you know, comma to represent thousands and also decimals. Step seven, we want to round this back to whole numbers because we have no partial numbers. Remember we're talking about attendance for people. So there are no partial people attending. We're all full people. So to get rid of those decimals that we don't need, we are going to decrease the decimal place to zero. So up here, there are these two icons, decrease and increase. We want to decrease. So click on this button once. That brings you to one decimal place. One more time and we're back down to whole numbers. All right, so step eight, we need to create a line chart. So we want to basically organize the information on this table to a nice, easy to read line chart. So to create a line chart to show trends over time, we need to select cells A3 through F7. So again, click on it, hold down shift key, click on the last one and they're all selected. Insert menu up here on the top and chart, which is down here near the bottom. Okay, so a lot of stuff comes up here. This is called the chart editor. So in the chart editor box, from the chart types tab up here, chart types, click the switch rows slash columns checkbox. So please make sure that is checked off. For me, it already is. So please make sure you've got that check mark there. And then you can select the line chart thumbnail. So right here is a line chart. And you see it changes it to a line chart for us. All right, now we need to go um, step 8C says from the customization tab, which is up here. Copy and paste the text in cell A1 to the chart title field. So with this, um, cell A1 was the title, so McKinley High Athletic Event Attendance. It says copy and paste it, but it's hard to get back to it, to see it. It's kind of hard to move this around. So what I'm going to do is instead of copy and paste, um, here's chart title. I'm going to erase what's here and I'm going to type it in. So it was McKinley High Athletic Event Attendance. All right. I think that's a little easier than trying to go back and copy and paste. Make sure you've got that under chart title. Then go to step 8D. We need to delete the horizontal axis title. So scroll down. You'll see some things here. Here's horizontal axis. The title um, right now the title has nothing in it, so we don't really need to delete it. But if there is something there, please make sure it's empty. And we're going to, um, we're going to add a title, but we want the title over here on the Y axis. The thing in math class, Y axis is over here. So, um, we need to change it from horizontal to left vertical. And then we're going to step 8F says change the access title to number of attendees. So right underneath there where it says title, type number of attendees. All right. And the last thing we need to do is insert the chart. So if I click away, you'll see it kind of pops up right here. So now we have our information labeled. And insert. All right. Step nine, we notice our chart is kind of cutting off a lot of our important information here. So we need to move it. So basically place your cursor on the top of the chart. So right around here. Um, it should become a hand at some point. Mine is not trying to do it. There it goes. So once you click on it, it should become a hand if you're around this blank area up here. Um, and drag it below. So just move it down a little bit so you can see all your important stuff. Okay. So now you can see your table and you can see your chart down here. If you scroll down a little bit, it's there. What you need to do last is insert an image. So to insert an image into your spreadsheet, this is step 10 in cell H3. So please make sure, let me get rid of this little tab up here that's bothering me. In cell H3, please make sure that you click here before you do anything else. So cell H3, here we go. Make sure that's highlighted or that's um, your active cell. Now go to the insert menu up top and go down to image. All right. So this box pops up. We need to go over to search and this will basically bring up a mini Google image search for us. Nice and easy. Um, you want to type in school mascot and hit enter or 
hit the search button and a lot of things will pop up here some crazy looking um, mascots some cool looking ones you have the freedom here to click on any one that you want so i'm gonna scroll through a little bit um let's do the i guess it's a yellow jacket choose one click on it hit okay and you will have a picture here but it's kind of big um not really as conveniently placed as we like it so we're gonna step 11 resize the image so we are going to change the size of the image we want the image to fit inside of cells h or i'm sorry columns h and i so we want it to make it smaller so to resize an image you click on the image and you'll see all these little lines come up around it then place your cursor over the bottom right hand corner until it becomes an arrow so i'm gonna take my little um scroll bar down here oh it's not following me i'm gonna actually do this and move them over take this bottom corner and make them smaller okay once he's smaller move him around try to fit him in between h and i and remember you can have any picture so your picture might be really big it might be really small resize it so that it fits in between these two columns h and i all right now that you have this you're finished so what you need to do is check make sure you've got all of the steps completed make sure you can see everything make sure um your school mascot is not being blocked or not off the side of the page within cells h and i once you have this done please check um follow the instructions that i've given you to turn in your assignment and you just finish the varsity sports attendance activity